tickets goes to ticket 526. For the past three years, Ellie Sordicons has been volunteering at her high school in Central Square to raise awareness about Hope for Heather, a nonprofit dedicated to raising funds and awareness about ovarian cancer. And tonight was Ellie's big fundraising night at the Central Square basketball game. So for the past four, three, four years, I've been doing tables to try and raise a little money here and there, get the awareness out in our lunch in our lunches. Mm -hmm. And then this year, because we're the seniors, we kind of get to pick what we want. We decided to dedicate a basketball game to it. Ellie and Carly got over 30 businesses to donate items to be raffled off at the game, and people could also buy t-shirts that Ellie and Carly helped design. We have our normal flock shirts that the student section wears and we turn them teal for ovarian cancer because that's the color that is represented with their foundation. The Hope for Heather Foundation was started after Heather Weeks, an ovarian cancer advocate, died of the disease at 24 years old. Heather's parents started the foundation as a way to continue their daughter's legacy and spread awareness about the disease. Many times because it's misdiagnosed, it's too late. So it's diagnosed in late stage three, late stage four, and it makes the survival rate very difficult. There is no test for ovarian cancer, so knowing the symptoms is the most important thing a woman can do. You never know what life is going to be saved or what lives you're going to touch just by handing out a symptom card and information because there are only warning signs for ovarian cancer. There is no test for it. So women have to be very proactive. Ellie and Carly were not concerned about how much money they raised. They were just happy to spread the message. With school, we can get, reach the children, but to reach people who are actually going to be affected by this is our goal. Mm -hmm. So to have the parents and like order forms going home for the shirts, get everybody really involved in knowing what's going on, that's the real success. If you would like to make a donation to Hope for Heather, you can do so right on our website at localsyr.com. In Central Square, Anthony Scott, News Channel 9.